वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू पावर एंड एनर्जी एंड दिस इज वेरी एसेंशियल टू नो दैट वॉट इज पावर एंड वॉट इज एनर्जी एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू कैलकुलेट एनर्जी एंड पावर एंड एट लास्ट आई गिव यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल विच विल रिजॉल्व ऑल योर क्वेरीज रिगार्डिंग वॉट इज एनर्जी एंड वॉट इज पावर एंड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट बोथ सो लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट वॉट इज पावर सी पावर इज रेट ऑफ एनर्जी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम एंड बाय यूजिंग दिस बेसिक डेफिनेशन वी कैन डिराइव बेसिक फार्मूला ऑफ पावर सो लेट मी मेंशन दैट फर्स्ट सो व्हेन यू वांट टू कैलकुलेट पावर दैट इज रेट ऑफ एनर्जी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम वेयर डब्ल्यू इज एनर्जी एंड टी इज टाइम so as w is energy unit of energy is joule with respect to time that is second so joule per second that is a unit of power or you can say that unit of power that is watt and we can have calculation of watt with different scales like you can have watt in terms of milliwatt means it is there in terms of 10 to the power minus 3 watt you can have that in terms of micro watt means it is 10 to the power minus 6 watt or you can have that in terms of nano watt means it is there in terms of 10 to the power minus 9 watt similarly larger units of watts are also there like kilo watt so for kilo watt it will be 10 to the power 3 watt for mega watt it will be 10 to the power 6 watt as well as gigawatt that could be larger unit that is there in terms of 10 to the power 9 watt so that is how different scales of power that you can have now let us try to elaborate this power that is dw by dt so let me take this separately so dw by dt that i am taking now if you multiply and divide dq right then you see dw by dq that is electric potential which i have already explained you in my previous video so dw by dq that is potential and dq by dt that is current that is also the case which i have already explained you in my previous videos so power is voltage into current right now power can be calculated by different other formulas by using ohms law so as we know that as per ohms law v is equals to ir and that we can use it in power formula to have different forms of power calculation right so let me mention that as per ohms law v is equals to ir now if you use this formula then you can have power in different calibration like see p is equals to vi that we have already seen now if you substitute v is equals to ir then this will be i square r and if you substitute i is equals to v by r then this will be v square by r so that is how we can calculate power with vi ir and v by v square by r right now let us try to understand the basic things which is there with energy see energy is capacity of work done and by using that we can be able to understand how much energy is consumed with respect to power so i'll explain you how to calibrate all those things so as i have said energy is capacity of work done so we have already seen power that is dw by dt right so from this we can have dw that is power into dt and if you wanted to have energy then you will have to integrate this so if you integrate this then you will be having total energy that is integration of power with respect to time and unit of this is there in terms of joule now 
by using this basic terminology we can be able to understand like how energy and power that is so essential you might have seen that many of the electrical appliances that is been given with power rating like if you go for a purchase of bulb then you will be asking for bulb with different power capacity like 45 watt bulb 90 watt bulb 120 volt watt bulb right so all those rating which is there with power but what it explains you is with respect to time how much energy it will consume right so to understand that practically let me give you one practical example so that will resolve your understanding furthermore so here we are having circuit in that 100 ohm resistance is connected in series with led and 9 voltage battery that we have connected and we are deal with to calculate power delivered to the led and we are deal with to find energy consumed by led in 10 seconds right so now our agenda is to identify how much power that will get delivered to the led which is over here as well as how much energy that will be consumed by this led so to understand that first of all we need to understand how much current that is flowing in this loop right let us say current is i in this loop so what i'll do is i apply kvl in this loop so if you apply kvl in this loop then we are having only one battery that is happening from minus to plus so this voltage that should be considered positive so 9 that i'm writing and that is equals to now this voltage is getting delivered to the resistance as well as this led now this resistance value is 100 ohm so 100 into i that will be voltage drop across this resistance and internal resistance of this led that is 25 ohm so plus 25 into i that i need to write so i can say that 9 is equals to 125 i so i can be able to calculate current i that is 9 divided by 125 so let us calculate this so that is 0 0.072 ampere now we got the value of current so we can be able to calculate now power now as i have explained if you have resistance and current then we can calculate power as per i square r right so power delivered to the led over here that will be i square r and if you substitute the value of current that is 0.072 square into resistance of led is 25 so total power delivered to the led that is 0.1296 watt so this much power that is getting delivered to the led over here now our next question is to identify energy consumed by led in 10 seconds so when you want to calculate energy consumed by led then energy is equals to power into time so you can say that power is 0 0.1296 into time is 10 second so energy consumed by led in 10 second will be 1.296 joule so this is how we can identify how much energy is consumed by element here there can be one more question like how much power is delivered to the resistor right here we are having resistor also so if you want to calculate power delivered to the resistor then that even you can calculate like you see power delivered to the resistor that is i square r and that is 0.072 square into resistors value is 100 so you will be getting 0.5184 and if you want to calculate how much power is how much energy is consumed by resistor then that will be power delivered to the resistor into time and that will be 0 0.5184 into 10 and that has to be 5.184 joule so here 
compared to LED, resistor is consuming more power and this power will get dissipated as a heat. So many of the times when you design circuits at that time, you should understand this. You should have as much low resistance as possible. Otherwise, that energy will get consumed as a heat across resistor. So as being a designer, this is very essential to know that circuit should have as minimum resistance as possible. As you can see it in this example, LED is consuming 1.296 Joule energy, but the resistance which is there in series with that LED that is consuming far more power compared to LED. So designing of circuit is even equally essential as it is there in terms of component. I hope it is clear to all of you right now and still if you have any further queries you just place that in comment box I'll be happy to help you.